What's happening everyone? Welcome to TV Box Stop. And in today's video, I have a new 1080p projector from the brand IoT. This is the IoT A4300 and it's a native 1080p Wi-Fi and Bluetooth projector and will determine whether it's a good projector to purchase, so stay tuned. So in this package contains the A4300 model itself. You get one infrared remote control, a 40 inches HDMI cable, one AC power cable, one audio video cable, a lens cleaning cloth, a user guide, and a carrying case. So to the front of this projector is where you will find the lens cover for its glass coated lens along with an IR sensor and some intake vents. All of its IO ports are located to its rear, consisting of one HDMI input, two USB 2.0 ports, one VGA port, a headphone jack, one AV port, a rear facing IR sensor, the power button, it also has the vertical keystone correction lever and the DC power inlet. To its left is where you'll find the internal speaker and the focus adjustment wheel. To its right is where you'll find the exhaust vent. One thing to note is that this projector has no manual buttons. Instead, to the top it has LED lights for fashion. And below this projector has four anti-skid rubber pads, a screw hole for mounting to a tripod or ceiling mount, some more intake vents, and it has a press button pop-out kickstand that also has an anti-skid rubber pad. So here I have the projector set up on a 71 inches, 16 to 9 aspect ratio matte fabric projector screen at 7.5 feet, which is 2.2 meters away from the screen. And at this distance, the projection measures 60 inches diagonally. So it starts with a simple splash screen followed by its main menu. Its main menu is pretty basic and easy to navigate with access to all the display input options, media selection options, screen mirroring, and settings area all on the main screen. The reception of the stock remote is not all that great and can require a couple of presses for the projector to respond at times. In the settings area, under picture mode, you can adjust the brightness and color. It has temperature color options. You can change the aspect ratio from 4 to 3, 16 to 9, or you can set it to auto. You have noise reduction options. You can change the display orientation in the event you want to mount it to a ceiling. And you have zoom settings that actually work the way it should. Under sound options, you have sound mode settings. You can adjust the balance. This is for when connected via Bluetooth to a speaker or receiver. It has an auto volume feature. And you have Bluetooth settings where you can pair it to your Bluetooth speaker or receiver. You have sleep timer settings. And under options, you have language settings, factory default options, display blending options, blue screen option, and software updates. When you connect an external storage device such as a flash drive or external hard drive that contains media such as video and images, the option to select a movie, pictures, music, and text become available. Images in a slideshow can be used at weddings and funerals, text can be used at meetings and presentation, and video can be played at any indoor and outdoor event. For video playback, it can only play 1080p videos and videos encoded with DTS HD Master Audio and DTS X. It cannot play Dolby Atmos or Dolby Surround, and it cannot play 4K and downscale to 1080p.
for mobile screen mirroring, you have the option between Android or Windows Mirrorcast, or you can use iOS Airplay. To do so, you first have to connect the projector to your Wi-Fi network, which is pretty straightforward. You first enter the settings area and scan for your Wi-Fi network and enter your network password. Then return to the previous screen and select either Mirrorcast or iOSCast as your preferred option. Then on your mobile device, open your Mirrorcast app and search for the projector, which will be listed on your network as a dualcast device. Select to pair your device to the projector and begin casting. When you connect a media player such as an Android TV box to its HDMI port, the projection quality is twice as good compared to when you play media via its USB port. Here I've connected an Android TV box and fine-tuned its picture and color and I'll now play my list of 4K videos to demonstrate its true picture and sound quality. Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico but the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points the mosaic of the Camp Nou If you have a Bluetooth speaker, a song bar, or a surround sound audio system with a receiver that has Bluetooth, you can enjoy enhanced audio with this projector. To connect your Bluetooth speaker or song system, simply return to the settings area under audio and enter the Bluetooth settings. Switch from off to on and search for your Bluetooth device. Here I'm pairing my Sony 7.1 audio receiver to this projector and I'll play one video to sample its sound quality. When applied to 3D gaming, this is what it looks like. I conducted a fan noise test and this projector generates 55 decibels of fan noise. In summary, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this projector a 7 for its picture quality, ease of use, its Wi-Fi and Bluetooth audio and screen mirroring features, and its ability to play at least two digital audio formats from media connected directly to its USB ports. Where it fell short is that it does not have any manual buttons on it, the infrared remote does not have the best reception, and if you lose it or it's damaged, there is no way for you to navigate the projector. I connected a wireless remote that has a USB dongle to one of its USB ports, and the projector did not recognize the remote. It does not have horizontal keystone correction, and the focus wheel is very sturdy and can be difficult to adjust at times. 
so I would say that this projector falls within the budget category. So this brings to an end my review. Special thanks goes out to IoT for sending their projector for review. You can get it on Amazon for only $99, which is a bargain for this model that provides a good display and great features. So to check out this model and to browse other products on the Amazon store, see the link in the description directly below this video. So give this video the thumbs up if you like this product or enjoyed the information contained in this video. If you are new to my channel, then I encourage you to click on the red subscribe button and the little notifications bell below this video to be notified when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.